Hi, everyone. Welcome to my first uh, Surat video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download public available single cell RNA sequencing data and read the sequencing data into R. The data set that I'm using today for the demonstration it's GSE 132771. So we can go to uh, Google and uh, search the data set. So the first link is the data that we wanted. So we can press the link. The link will take us to NCBI GEO website. So you can see the data is available from January 2020. From the uh, title uh, description, we know that uh, the data set contains single cell RNA sequencing data for uh, lung tissue from both mouse and the human. So for the demonstration, I'm going to use uh, the data set for normal human, human lung tissue. So we can scroll down to find the data. Here it is. So you can use the HTTP link to download the whole data set. Uh, for the demonstration today, we can just use the custom link. If you press it, it will show all the data inside. So we just need to download the uh, uh, data for normal human lung tissue. So they name the uh, data for normal human lung tissue as NML. So uh, NIN represent data for purified medicine common cells, but uh, O represent uh, all kinds of cells in the lung. So we are going to download the uh, AML O. So they did a three repeat, uh, AML1, all kinds of cells, AML2, all kinds of cells, and uh, NML three or so we can go ahead and download it. Okay, downloading was finished, so we can go to the download folder. At the moment, they are uh, compressed into one zip file, so we can unzip it with seven zip. So you can do this in R, but uh, for a beginner, this way is much easier to understand it. So we can open the file. You can see there are nine files. So uh, three files for each repeat. AML1 has barcode, genes, and the matrix. So uh, we need to do some reorganization for the data. We can create three new files for the NML1. NML two and uh, NML three. So you probably notice that the gene files for NML three has been named as features. Actually, in R, when we use SURAT to do the analysis. A threat requires uh, 
this name as the features, not genes. So we can change uh, genes to features. So let's keep uh, genes file for AML1 as genes to see what could happen when we start to uh, read the data into R. So now we can move them to their folder. We also need to uh, change the file name. Just uh, have barcode. features and the uh, matrix again you can change this by R so it's uh, very easy to change there for all the files but this way as I said it is uh, easier for a beginner to understand it. So now it's AML one barcode. We keep the uh, gene file name as genes, then matrix. So now uh, we have uh, the data ready to read into R. So I'm using uh, R Studio. Um, and prepared the code already to save time for this demonstration. So we can open the code in R Studio. So for the analysis, we need to install a Shuret package and load it. So for installation, you can go to tools, uh, install packages. If you type SEO here, you can find the Shuret. So uh, you can select it and install, but I installed it already. So uh, I just need to load it. So for the demonstration, so we are going to run the code one nine by, by one nine. You can just put your mouse here, and then uh, press run. So uh, the R will load throughout package. Yeah, it is ready. So now we can use the read the 10 times function to read the data into R. So we also give each repeat a name as NML1, NML2, and NML3. The data directory tells R where we store the downloaded files. So let's uh, run the first uh, repeat. So you can see we got a, an error down here. The error says expecting features TSVGZ. So that's uh, the file. We didn't change it, the name. So we need to go back to NML1, change the genes uh, to features. So I keep it here just for a demonstration how you can deal with the error in R. So now we can go back to press run and read the AML1 data again. We just press run. You can see now it is running. So yeah, you can see R read the uh, AML1 data 
into here. So we can continue read HTML2 and then then uh, read HTML3. Yeah, so we have uh, all three repeats. So at the moment, they are DG matrix data, not threat objects. So uh, DG matrix uh, is a class of sparse numeric matrix in R. Uh, it is in a compressed sparse quantum oriented format. So we can have a look at uh, the DG matrix data using uh, AML1 as an example. So we just need to run the name of AML1. We press run. So you can see uh, the data organization down here. So uh, we have genes. Uh, genes are in the uh, column. Um, buckles. Buckles are in the row. So each buckle represent uh, a cell and the matrix. So matrix data are inside here. So each dot uh, represent a, a count zero. Count zero means that the gene is not expressed in the cell. So uh, count one, for example, for this one, uh, means uh, one copy of gene expression in this cell. If uh, a gene is highly, it's highly expressed in a cell, you will see a big number down here. So uh, we manage to download and uh, read single uh, cell RNA sequencing data into R. Um, so um, you can go to have a go and try to see if you can read your own data in R. So in my next uh, video, I will show you how to create and the view through red object from the DG matrix data.